quilts and today I am going to a quilt show it's actually March 18th and we have the bits and pieces quilt gill show and I thought that I would take you along with me I am going to stop and pick up a quilting friend and I will see you at the show so I am at the quilt show for bits and pieces quilt gill this is their gill quilt and they actually had a sign with all of their programming for the weekend. Good morning. Yeah. How much is it? Enjoy. How much is it? Seven. Yeah. Hi. Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Hi. Here's the raffle quilt. Where you can buy one ticket, get out, or get six for five dollars. Well, hello, Miss Jane. Yeah. Hey, hello, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> More like a video bomb. Oh my gosh. I never did get mine appraised. You know, my miniature. Mm -hmm. So this is the one. Oh, Bonnie Hunter Mystery. Yeah, mine is still in pieces. This, um. It was so funny that Ann said in her lecture that most of the curtains were black and we all got blue in the St. Louis area. I was like, what's up with that? But I didn't ask. I didn't ask. Yeah, one year we had gray. Did we? I don't ever remember that. I'm irritated because I made a quilt that would go well with the book. <laughs> oh, like it's the way that they did yeah. the three corners. Because I'm like, like this is just a kaleidoscope block, but that is beautiful. See whose pattern is organized chaos. No wonder it's got that lovely ribbon on it. Very nice, the color play of fabric. I'll try to keep you out, but your voice will be there, of course. But, but yeah, so just let them see a little bit of all the quilts we are just started. So it will be a long video, so you might want to get your coffee and get it prepared. I got some of these K facet um, stripes. Is that the same set of stripes that was somebody did the retreat quilt and the stripes? I wonder. No, I think they're. I thought they were different. They were big. Some of them were really big stripes. <laughs> so those blocks here are a paper piece. And then here's a nice beginner block here. Here is a praising in action. <laughs> hey, Hi, Haley. Haley. How are you? Oh man, don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> it's my next one. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. It does. So yep. I'm wondering if the 
other one was best show. I know I can go back and look. It's pineapple. It didn't have anything on it at the bottom. Very nice. I don't know what this pattern is off the top of my head. It's a um, 2012 Mystery Quilt by Brenda Papadakis of Dear Jane and Gay Boomers of Sentimental Stitches. Yeah, both online people are a big online appearance, but I didn't know that they had done a Mystery Quilt. Very nice. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> hey, it's they understand. I love houses in Cape Cod. I love it. Yes, that's be, and some of them are upside down. Well, one of them is upside down. That's pretty cool. I thought they some of I thought they were off, like rotated that way, but it's just the one for not oh, being I, perfect. I love that in the description. That's cute. <laughs> Very hi, nice. Hi, hi ladies. Hi, Go hi, ahead. No. I thought this was this is one like cat did, I guess. Oh, I like that. And this is Asian inspired or Asian or is it African? It's African. Australian. Australian? Okay. Yep, I have that fabric. Sent okay, to this me one by here. An Australian okay. Fan. I couldn't tell right now. Yep, those are witchy oh. grubs. It does say Australian. Uh -huh. Okay. Yep. But yeah, these fabrics are beautiful. I need to do some things with my African prints. Where's the kangaroo? Oh, I see them now. Okay. And koala. Yeah. But here's the paperwork. Very nice. Look at that. <laughs> they don't have to see the labels for all of them. I bought this fabric in the, in the rainbow color as a possible border for my retreat quilt. But this, it's screaming that it wants to be its own quilt. <laughs> it's gorgeous. This sampler quilt is pretty interesting. More you can actually do your sample blocks and just make big larger great blocks instead of worrying about the entire quilt you're just making a space that's say 20 inches square pretty cool good way to use it up and i love that one i don't normally like it but i love doing it i'm just starting okay, this one I yeah this one was this one's called other. radar And Ann McNew was actually at our quilt guild. She's one of the makers. The other one is Kevin Hoffman. And they had this at our guild. So this quilt is pretty awesome. Just made from scrappy prints randomly sewed back together. Well, sorta of, kinda of randomly. It's uh, pixelated, but it's beautiful. And the quilting is to die for. So we've got some one block wonders here.
Get something, Becky? Not yet. I uh, just saw the lady uh, who uh, makes the purses that we got in our gym. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Don't they have a pattern that you can buy? I do not know. I have this. does. I buy it. <laughs> Basically, don't touch. <laughs> Woo. Very nice. 1930s prints here. So this quilt, um, she hopes it, she said, I piece and my mother quilted. I hope this gets handed down to later generations and they treasure as much as I do. Got a blue ribbon over there. It's got drunkard's pads in the center. And another very simple quilt. Here's your block. I like some of the do not touch signs. A lot of K facets used in this gill. Oh, yeah. Hi, how are you? Good. Doing good. That's what I was doing. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then I can look through my viewfinder, too. That's nice. <laughs> oh, it's a nice t shirt quilt. Very pretty. Go up and get a picture to see who it belongs to. Very nice. Another t shirt quilt. <laughs> Get my t shirt quilt. This is another sampler quilt. See if it's based on a pattern or not. She said there is no pattern for this quilt, but it's beautiful as far as she used the cowboy print. Very nice. Here's a strip quilt. just larger size triangles I'll guess and say they're about eight inches high with sashing in between it's beautiful as well oh, yeah. Maybe I ought to try that 
have all the triangles I cut out that I hated for the scrap club project, which we just did. That might. Or even black might work if you got a lot of color in it to make the colors pop but still space it. Very pretty. This is pansies and purple pinwheel. This one's called Teal Explosion. And then Patriotism. The uh, Do Not Touch. Yeah. Very bright floral print. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Giant Dahlia. I keep saying I'm going to make one of these in my lifetime. It hasn't happened yet. <laughs> I think that one is made by Tula Pink. Yeah, it's Tula Pink if it was at Jackman's. Okay. Another Do Not Touch sign. What pattern? Cat pattern. It didn't even make it home from retreat. Connie swiped it from me. Very nice. I need to make that one for my husband as a surprise. Um, that Connie and Kathy made because he looks at that stuff on television. This one has a best hand quilting ribbon first place. Wow. <laughs> Just lots of scrappiness. And then, is it a pattern? No, original design. Okay. And then we have one more sampler here. Okay. This is the first time I've ever been in there. This is cheap. This is actually the first show I've been to that's not a Flower Valley show, actually. I don't get out to quilt shows very much. Because it seems like. So this is our feature quilters booth. Um, her name is Suzanne Marshall. I've been seriously quilting for eight years. In the last seven, we've had been getting ready for our big festival at work, and I can't get the time off. Wow. Okay, so this is Suzanne Marshall here. A beautiful work. She's showing her applique. And she also has books. And she even has patterns here. I don't think she is online. If you're interested in any of her materials, contact me and I will try to find it for you. And take the drink over here. Actually doing a bed turning over here. We've missed quite a few of them, it looks like. They're almost to the end, so I'll come back to that maybe. Look at this applique. 
Just beautiful. So this is made in memory of someone. Very nice. It's a memory quilt. Next we have um, two crazy quilts. Mary Ann Bell shares the circa 1965 crazy quilt. The regular quilt you can use your scraps for. Very nice. This one has first place in bed. No, this is the judge's honorable mention. I think all of the ribbons are blue. This lady's quilt right there that's actually holding it up. Very nice. We've got a safari quilt here. This was something they used to do to go to Very nice quilting by Terry Kanya. And on this one, another very colorful scrappy quilt. This one's called Rise and Shine. blocks that they framed out into larger crosses if you can see them in here. Very nicely done. Don, was it this lady right here? What's on this side? <laughs> And another do not touch. This looks like hi. This looks like machine embroidery. And I'm sure this is 
written by Sarah Bedler. That's what I thought. She does the very intricate machine embroidery. Very nice. And get some uh, mesh I love I need some room to play with Oh, well, we gonna walk around. No need of you holding it early. <laughs> it's a lot of quilts. Look at all these aisles. They got 1,300 sticking out far down there. Hi, how are you? Yes. Let's see this. No touch. Yes, I didn't realize this was a sampler at first. <laughs> Very nice. Hi, how are you? This one has for novice quilter. Oh, look at this uh, quilting, Becky. This got to be computerized. Yeah. It is just too perfect. Yeah. Let's see what's going on here. It doesn't say what style of quilt. Oh, it says computer long arm, I'm sorry. I'm looking in the description and it's got a own category. Another sampler quilt. This one is the Underground Railroad in African prints. The setting is an original. River City Blues was accepted in the 2014 AQS show in Paducah. I've made this quilt before, loved it. I use Patriotics as well. It's amazing how just change in fabric will make the quilt look completely different. Even my patriotic quilt looks different. It's <laughs> another one block wonder quilt. Puppies and doggies. Another 30s quilt. I don't think 30s fabrics are ever going to go out of style. Ooh, look at that beautiful house. We'll get that one in a minute. Um, so they did a partial seam on the center. So it's a partial seam. I've talked about that a lot in the previous videos. Very nice. Maybe I'll do this block on my channel. I'll come back. We'll go over here while it's empty. Applique florals. A nice wedding quilt. You already took that one. Hmm? You already took that one. What do you mean? Uh -uh. I thought when you came up, you took it. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. uh -uh. This You're is the first time I've been in this aisle. We haven't been in this aisle. Oh, this is a different way also to do a sampler. Very nice. But this is a beauty, this house quilt. I want to show you a full shot. And then let's go in a little bit. Just had fun. 
got the bakery. The bakery. <laughs> I don't know what was up with that. We got the animals. Very creative. This is made with the ruler, the QRC ruler, which is a ruler you sew curves with. They've got all kinds of patterns, but that's very pretty. <laughs> Half size one. Oh, Bonnie's? Is that Bonnie yeah. Hunter's? Um, another machine embroidered piece. And this one is an old ESD. They're calling this Purple Dresden. I don't know if that's the name of the pattern. Dresden Applique. It's called Dresden Applique. So here's the label information. Very pretty. I've never seen the tacking the plane Yeah, to plan so and you can see it. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's original to me too. <laughs> that's cute, a dress form. Very nice. And some leaves. Or feathers. Are they calling it feathers? <laughs> Just depends. <laughs> yeah, ever since Harry Potter, feathers will be in style for a while. Oh, this is pretty. Very nice. Look at this center. Just gorgeous. And it has a ribbon for best small quilt. And this is the information about it. Oh, right now I get the name. Look in the window. There's kitties. Oh, it's called Cat Cottage, and there's kitties it's in every window. But yes. I couldn't understand why that has to be cat. Oh, this is um, the quote that we did as a year long project. It's Judy Martin's design, double wedding ring. <laughs> You're okay. You don't have to stoop. Um, yeah, she had this book appraised, and it appraised at quite a bit. I'm not going to say what it is. Jane Coombs did the quilting. Sharon Sharp. No, this is um, Jane Coombs' quilt. So Jane Coombs did the piecing on this, and then... She also did the quilting on computerized long arm, but it's just gorgeous. Look at her center. Very nice. I wish I had underneath it what language. <laughs> so we got some very tall half triangle in a square. I was trying to make sure that they weren't rectangles, but they are actually very large triangle in a square. Pretty. And then we may as well get this one while we're on the outside. This one's called Outside the Box. I guess I get to write this off too with my entry fee. <laughs> I'm working. <laughs> A couple of 
Halloween quilts here. Very pretty. Yeah, had and this one's cute. It's got the candy corn in the middle of the pumpkin. Pretty. You should have had me pay you, then you could have written off 14 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is funny. The same pattern maker that made our elephant. Oh, okay. So this one here. And then more machine embroidery. This is pretty cool. I haven't purchased anything with machine embroidery in so long because I got so much. It's like I need to make some of the stuff I got. Where's it about? made with the panel. That could have fit right into our panel play. I, I purchased panels and had to buy new, six. I bought six just in case because I was going to do the stack and whack or the horse patch cozy with them. Didn't do anything. Just sitting there looking at me. So, ooh, this tree of life is really pretty. It's not as big as the other ones for some reason. To me, it seems like it. Or the pieces are small, I don't know. I don't know if it's the scrappiness or if it's the sizing of the pieces, but yeah, just no, beautiful. So I've never seen a quilt hung like that either. Yeah, I would be mad. I don't like, feel like you should, because it looks like it's a sampler quilt, but we don't know what else it looks like. And then we have one here as well. Those trees pretty and the quilting is matching the style it's got snowflakes and I'm not sure if it's going to show up very well that's beautiful and then another this is like a Christmas village I'm wondering if this is a um, quilt makers quilt makers magazine that was the same pattern that Judy Cooey did for snow yeah yeah it is but it doesn't say but it was in quilt maker yeah. magazine one of the july issues where they were doing christmas quilts every year like we actually Judy made hers daytime called her first snow day so that's the same I got the pattern for this. I keep saying I'm gonna do it, but the one, you know, they got a gazillion Dresdens and then they're applique on top. <laughs> so how did she, she did hers with a buttonhole stitch. Very tiny, but it's there. And the gold thread is beautiful with the gold for Christmas. I might have to do one of these. I've got a friend who wants a, she asked me to make her a Dresden. Another panel quilt here, very nice. It's amazing that all of these are the same pattern. They look so different. And this one actually won the ribbon. Midnight. Wow. You were right. We were in aisle before. I turned around mid aisle. In fact, that's why. <laughs> My bad. Hi. I'd like to see the back. I'm happy to show you. 
There you go. Black with proper color in this area. Very pretty Christmas quilt. Maybe this is spur oh, beyond. Oh, well, you're, I'm sure you're the only one. I've <laughs> got a Canada quilt. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Join the club. Here, let me draw you away. Is this applique or a panel? It's applique. Very it's, nice. It's fused. And, and then machine applique. So these were pre cut shapes mm -hmm. that were fused and then machine applique. Very nice. So half the work was done. <laughs> That's the hard part is cutting it out. It is well fixed. So well, we got all the die cutting machines. So yeah, I know they've been selling it. It's been real popular the last couple of years. Yes. In fact, I have a, I have a, the brother version. I have a scan and cut. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you want to see the back of anything, just let me know and I'll be happy to show you. Okay. Thank you. So here are some wall hangings here. Pretty. And then the same quilt in a smaller style. It won best workshop quilt. We really need more ribbons in our. That's what I said. They got a lot of ribbons. We need more in our. Yeah, we like how you all got we different like ribbons for so workshop quilts. Uh, oh. The winter. Oh, this is cute. It's actual peacock feather on the top here. Like a real one? Yeah. Are you serious? Uh-huh. Oh, I guess so. It says, we raised peacocks for many years. I love this tabletop or hanging reach. It reminds me of how beautiful the peacocks are. Oh, my goodness. Very nice. Judy Niemeyer pattern. And this one has custom quilting, got quite a few things going on in different areas. pieces from that workshop into Flower Valley to show us. Oh, okay. Because of course she let the grandkids do what she did at home. Looks like another workshop here. It's kaleidoscope with uh, Toby and Shisko. Got this huge quilt here called Frosted Stars. Very nice. Okay, we're gonna look at more quilts here. This is a strip quilt. We have Called it the Rock and Rail Fence. From Grateful Veterans and their families. And of course there's the shopping. Don't forget Quilter's Harvest. She this is has pretty nice when I like her gradation color. Her monthly day four. There's also quilt. Colors Custom Dye Cotton. Jan has some beautiful hand dyed fabrics there for all of your project needs. And the Canada Moon. 
The candid moon is hand by wool and silk. Stunning colors. Hi ladies, how are you? It's good to see you. I like the quilts where they're putting the names inside of the new baby quilts. Very nice. My battery light is flashing. <laughs> Got a nice bike quilt made with hexes. All handwork, just gorgeous. Just beautiful handwork. And the maker of all of these quilts are called Cool Work Design. Just beautiful. I'm sure that took her about 20 hours to do one square. <laughs> These are Jane's grandkids. Yes. So Jane Combs grandchildren, they like to use her computerized quilting long arm and she's taught them how to quilt on it and they are doing an excellent job. They're going to be future the quilters. The will be starting in just a few moments in the center of the arena. Very nice. Another local company with us today is Jane Lou. From Did you want to see the band turning? The sisters are here. Okay, because I'm just asking because I don't need. I, I think it's the same one. Yeah, I caught part of it really. Okay. I have those blocks that, uh, the ladybug blocks that. Uh, the person in Guild who won gave them to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi. Ooh, this is a nice art quilt. Looking through the camera, this looks like it could be a pipe. <laughs> And then you realize it's extended a little longer. So this is a group quilt. Very nice. Beautiful custom quilting as well. And then another little scrappy quilt. Scrappy log cabins. Get your mojo, show your logo. She says that the ladies in the Photo reminded her of some of her Gill members. <laughs> Bloom where you're planted is really pretty. Enjoy the ride. Very nice 3D Dresdens here. Mm -hmm. 
called Denim Ocean Random Piece Upcycled Blue Jeans Collected for 10 years Quite a bit distance away from the sign But that's pretty cool Just saw them on the diagonal So that's it for this video. I will see you next time. I am now just going to take some time and walk around the vendors and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Hi, it's T and I'm back home from the quilt show. I actually stopped recording. I actually watched the last part of the show without recording. I didn't record a lot of the small wall quilts and a row of applique quilts and I didn't um and I also didn't show the vendors booths because I wanted to respect what they were trying to sell. So I am uh, really excited with the show. I hope you enjoyed this video that I put up for you. They had a great variety of quilts at the show. And I will show you what I actually purchased. I didn't get a whole lot. I actually um, saw a gentleman that had some fabrics that he was giving away for free so I actually just got a couple of his neutrals that he had in a bin so I got that one and then this one as well a lot of the fabrics were more vintage style fabrics and I did purchase these fabrics they're scraps all for two dollars so all of these were two dollars they we're a quarter to 50 cents a piece. So I think all of these four prints that I showed you were a quarter. And then this piece here was a dollar. So yeah. I did get one other thing. I actually purchased this long arm ruler rack. It actually holds on my frame and I'll take it down in just a second. But what was also neat about it was that he had these little removable slots that you can put in. And you can use those to store your bobbins if you like. So I thought that was pretty neat. And I will take it down and show you the back. It actually has a little hook closure on it. And the fee for this was $30 with two of the little racks in there. And you could buy additional racks for $3 each. But I thought that was pretty great bargain there. And you can put them anywhere in the rack system that you like. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you give this a thumbs up. Like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.